Do you feel comfortable having your voice be the background audio for your video? Are you uncomfortable about your voice being recorded in your YouTube video? Do you like having an audio to help your viewers to better understand your content? Well, Onyx Web Tutorial has the solution for you. I would appreciate it if you could like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, so I can continue to post more videos. This video will show you how to turn text into spoken word. This is referred to as text-to-speech. You can do it without installing any other software, since Windows 10 already has everything you need. I want to start things off by showing you how to convert text into speech using apps that come pre-installed and are free with Windows 10. Can you guess what app is this? Well, I am going to use OneNote for Windows 10 for today's video. To find this app, go to your taskbar and type OneNote into the search field. The best match for OneNote for Windows 10 will appear here. Just look for OneNote. If you search for OneNote and don't see anything, don't fret, you can still get it for free by opening up the Microsoft Store app. In the top right corner click on search, then type in OneNote. Right here we see OneNote for Windows 10. You can click on that, and then you can download it right here, and install it on your computer. Once everything is set up, open OneNote. With OneNote opened, you can see that there are various tabs at the top, and I'm going to click View tab to see Immersive Reader button, which the computer can read for me the texts that I've already composed. At the right side of the screen, it is possible to change the background theme, to adjust different grammar options, as well as to set my reading preferences, so that I can truly focus on the content. The play icon can be found right down here, if you want the computer to read aloud to you. The OneNote will read to me when I click on it. Hi, I'm Onyx. Welcome to Onyx Web Tutorials. So today's video, we're gonna talk about the SketchUp introduction, and familiarization of the said software. Therefore, I can have it read everything I have written. I can also adjust the voice speed by clicking the voice button settings right next to the play icon. It is possible to adjust the speed to go extremely fast or very slow. Then, down below, you can select whether you want the text to be read in a male or female voice. With this feature, you have two distinct options. It is now clear how the computer can read to us. For example, if we wanted to record it, we could overlay it on top of a video, or we could save it so we could hear it later. To do this we'd use the voice recorder app included with Windows 10. Let's take a moment to set that up. If you would like to modify your sound settings, go back to your desktop, click on the taskbar search field, and then type in sound settings and click OK. In the sound settings, we want the computer to record what is played in OneNote. Therefore, the input needs to be modified. Right here, I click on input and I can see all of my microphones, but I don't see an option to record system sound. Once again, I would like to record system sound, so it records whatever is playing in OneNote. Let's go down here and click on Manage Sound Devices. The Manage Sound Devices option allows you to see all of your output devices, but you can also see all of your input devices, as well as a disabled option called Stereo Mix. Select Enable by clicking on that. We can now record our system sounds with the voice recorder since it is now one of the input devices. You cannot enable Stereo Mix if you don't see it listed among the options. Don't worry if you don't have an installation available, you can still do it with the next option. Once you select the Stereo Mix option, you'll be able to record your system sound after selecting that you can exit the dialog box. After we've made that one setting adjustment, let's return to your taskbar and open the voice recorder. It's a pretty straightforward app that you can't really go wrong with, just type in voice recorder and choose the best match. The recording button is located right in the center. Let's click on it. 
Having the recording active, I can jump back into OneNote and click play, and the computer will record everything it says. Hi, I'm Onyx. Welcome to Onyx Web Tutorials. So today's video, we're gonna talk about the SketchUp introduction and familiarization of the said software. Firstly, let us understand about brief details of the software. As soon as OneNote has finished reading this text, I will jump over to the voice recorder to listen to the recording. Here's the voice recorder. I'm going to click the stop button now. Now that I've finished recording, I can listen to how it turned out in the middle of the track. We're gonna talk about the SketchUp introduction and familiarization of the said software. Firstly, let us understand about brief details of the software. What is SketchUp? Well, at first that sounded pretty good, but I did have to take a little time before I decided to start using the immersive reader. The trim tool can be clicked right here, and perhaps I'll trim some of the beginning and some of the end. I'll click on the save icon when I'm ready to save, and I can either save a copy, or if I want, I can update the original. Having my speech ready to go, I will update the original, I can right click on this, and then open the location on the left side. Here, I notice recording.m4a, which opens up my file explorer. It's now possible to take this anywhere for example, while editing a video. If I wanted to listen to the audio file, I could drag it into the audio track, or if I just wanted to hear it, I could double click on it. Windows Voice Recorder saves it as M4A, which is a pretty versatile format that can be played by most programs, but if you want an MP3, WAV, or another format, you will not be able to do it. If you find this video useful, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and commented on the video.